Join us today as we uh, talk about some Battletech items. Uh, today it will be the Clan Invasion Salvage Boxes that I picked up at Gen Con. Let's see what's in them. back to those you've been here before welcome to those who are here to the channel it's the geek cabal channel i'm bob i'm jim and today we're going to be covering some BattleTech items uh, i'm not going to do a separate review for the first thing i'm going to talk about because it would literally be a five second review but i picked up a hat at gen con so you're going to be seeing this in the BattleTech videos i'm not much of a hat person but i am a big fan of house Lao. so hopefully it doesn't lose us any subscribers but uh, yeah, we have to support the Celestial Wisdom and may he reign forever. So today, we're going to look at what's inside these two boxes that I picked up at Gen Con. These are Clan Invasion Salvage Boxes. Uh, you can also find these at Barnes & Noble whenever they restock in your local game store. You can order them from the Catalyst website and some of the others. But it is just a random mech in a box. I know some people want to see those things. So... Let's find out what we have here, shall we? With our first box. Which I thought I felt a tape thing there. There we go. Let's see if I slice my thumb off here or something. That'd be good. Well, well may get more views that way if you did. Yeah. Yeah, I probably got a lot of views when I accidentally stabbed myself in the side of the hand a couple months ago. So it looks like we have. This is a, a man of war or a gargoyle, depending on if you're talking inner sphere or clan terminology. So I'll put them right there so we can check them out. Hopefully, the setup we have here is picking this up right now. Uh, uh, trying something a little different with the uh, recording here, trying to record simultaneously versus having the, uh, the two here. Or yeah. the two different ones. So, uh, as I mentioned, this is a clan mech, it's an omni mech. Uh, We'll rotate it here a little bit. And it also comes with, uh, well, I'll, I'll finish rotating the mech here a little bit. And it does also come with some cards, which I'll put them here in a second. Uh, but this would have been from the original Clan Invasion Kickstarter. Um, I want to say this one's in the Clan Invasion box set, but I couldn't tell you for certain. So it has a uh, Man of War... Uh, or Gargoyle, Gargoyle will be the clan name, it's Gargoyle Prime, so it's the Prime configuration as far as the weapons, and then the A here on the back, and so these are uh, Alpha Strike stuff here for that. And then we have uh, two things here for pilot cards. We have uh, Milliken, Clan Jade Falcon on this side, and then Uspak of Clan Ghost Bear on this side. So as far as I'm aware, these are the same cards that came with, uh, if you got these in the regular whatever box they came in, which again, I think they came in the actual box set for the Clan Invasion Kickstarter. But I could be mistaken. So, so that was box number one. Now let's check out box number two. Hopefully we have some variety. It'd kind of suck if I got two of the same mech. I shouldn't have jinxed myself saying that. We'll see what happens. No, it's not the same mech. This, I'm actually going to look up what that is. It is a Night Gur gear. I think it's pronounced Gur, G Y R. Uh, it is also, I believe, a clan mech. But I'll know for certain here in a moment. Because there's a bunch of them I don't recognize on site. Yeah, both the pilots are clam pilots. So yeah, the Night Gur Prime and the A. So yeah, which means that uh, this is probably, yeah, this is an Omni mech. So, and so there's side for the Prime. Then the A, 
And then our pilots here are Logan Moon, which, yeah, he's definitely a smoke jaguar. Uh, Moon being a smoke jaguar blood name. And uh, Christelle, the Jade Falcons. Now, uh, quick note on the clan naming conventions, because I don't think I ever got around to doing a video on this. If they just have a single name, that means they have not earned a blood name. So they can achieve a rank. That's fine, you know, but uh, if they have a last name, it's a blood name that they earned in combat through a, through a trial. So, like, the one, his last name is Moon, and uh, I recognize that as a Smoke Jaguar blood name because the character of Paul Moon, uh, who plays a role in a number of the books I've read. So, anyway, uh, that's what those guys are all about. They're uh, cheap-ish. I think they're like $8 each. Now, if you know what you want, just buy the set they come in because you're playing long odds. There's like 53 potential mechs that could be in here. So you definitely want to just like buy the set that you want. Yeah, well, I'd that, say the, the, the likelihood of buying duplicates, that'd be my luck. I'd be like, oh, I'm going to buy two of them. And it's like, oh, well. Yeah, I think in the stores that should be impossible because I think the ones in the case should all be different from everything I've heard. Uh, but I, since I bought these at Gen Con, they just pulled them out of a box. Who knows what they what they collated from. So uh, What I see a lot of people doing is they'll buy these and make a random lance or star out of these. Or like both of you will buy a certain number and you'll average it out based on battle value and weight classes, swapping them back and forth until each of you has a lance or a star or whatever, whatever configuration you're going for. Or they'll use these like as prizes for tournaments or if people just really miss mech warrior dark age and that feeling of not knowing if you're going to get a real mech or an industrial mech only here there's no industrial mechs they're all real mechs so no garbage can no the garbage can's a real mech that's the urban mech that's <laughs> i i i wasn't 100 certain we're going to record or i would have brought the other thing i got my urban mech legion shirt that i bought so don't worry that'll definitely show up in one of these videos because i saw that and i was like yeah, I've got to have that. That's that's the meme bait right there. So anyway, uh, these are just a nice, these are just a, a fun little thing if you want some random stuff. But overall, I definitely advocate for just buying the actual Lance boxes. So that's uh, about all I have to say on these. Other than if you still haven't filled out the pledge manager for the Mercenaries Kickstarter, you do have the option of selecting these because uh, they're doing them again in that. You can these specific ones, the Clan Invasion Kickstarter. Or you can get them for the Mercenaries Kickstarter. Uh, now, with the Mercenaries Kickstarter, if you choose that option, it's only the battle mechs. There's a different option where it's only the vehicles, but you have to pay up a little bit for the vehicles because you're going to get two vehicles in the box. Supposedly, they're two different vehicles. I don't know if it's possible to get two of the same vehicle. We're all going to find out that in roughly nine months, uh, roughly nine months, when we get our stuff from the Kickstarter. So we'll see. Uh, but, uh, the other things you can choose there are like the blood asp where you know specifically what you're getting, uh, or there's another, uh, legendary because there's two legendary lances. It'll be one of the pieces from those. So, but anyway, that's, that's what these guys look like. And, you know, I don't know. I keep hearing people like seeing unboxing things. So here you go. If I ever buy any more of these, we'll record that too, but I don't buy these on principle. So as much as I love... Just unboxing random things, because I do. Like, unfortunately, I enjoy gambling. That's not good. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more of these, let me know, and maybe I'll buy some more, I guess. Uh, but otherwise, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, other than that, just remember, no guts, no galaxy.